welcome to Fortnite Frontier, with the show where we talk about Chris Roberts' epic space hangar simulator, Star Citizen. Tonight, my special guest is the same as always, Dianator. Hello. What have we got this week for Hyper News, Dianator? Absolutely nothing, because it's all about the dogfighting module. Yay! What did we see at well, on the live stream? What did we see on the live stream? First off, it started with one hour of delay, as yep. was predicted. Because and you stayed up for it as well, didn't you? I did. I stayed up for it. They were supposed to start at 3 in the morning. And then I guess I just watched a bunch of YouTube until 4 in the morning. Yeah. At least I wasn't one of the people uh, standing there in the uh, presentation hall yeah, as they were fixing uh, the game. At yeah. least until it was presentable. I guess these things are some, somewhat expected uh, with uh, Robert Space Industries and Star Citizen. And I don't think there's well, been basically as... any pre-alpha game, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I think, I, you know, I think, I think it, for all of the crashes and problems and a lack of actual showing we had of it, I think it looked pretty cool but when it was working. From, from what we saw, it was actually very cool. And I learned uh, the next day. Uh, on Ben Lesnick's Twitter, they actually had it fixed and were showcasing it at their booth. So I suppose they fixed everything that was plaguing it during the live stream. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's possible they had an older version, or uh, pff, who knows? I mean, they haven't actually said anything about it yet. But we expect some comments coming up in the next few days, which will be the previous few days when you're watching this video, because right. Means. Time. What else did we see, apart from the numerous problems with the presentation? Ah, we saw that we're going to get some amazing ships that no one really expected that they were going to be in there. Yeah, we're that gonna, is true. We're going to see the, Hor the Hornet, uh, the Aurora, I think all variants of the Aurora as well. No, not yet, just the basic one. Okay, just, just the basic one. Uh, yep. The 300i. Um, exactly. And that's it. We're actually starting with three ships, not just the Hornet, as was previously speculated. And the Avenger and the Cutlass and any other single-player ship, starter ship, that they have also made will be coming as soon as the assets are done, and that is very soon. Yep, absolutely. Um, they have to do the variants of them, and they'll release that at the same random at the same time, I guess, as they put in the dogfighty module. Yep. Yeah. Um, and they've got five uh, announced five game modes. The scythe, by the way, the scythe is going to be in there, but not flyable yet because they haven't yes. converted it. They to still have human. to convert it to be a yeah to for human flight. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Uh, they've announced five game modes: uh, free flight, fly around, crash into things, into the rubber asteroids that we saw on the video, uh, battle royale, which is just a free for all, uh, squadron, team play, uh, capture the core, capture the flag. And uh, the Horde uh, Bandul Swarm, which is the which is going to be a Horde mod, probably just wave after wave of Bandul. waves. Yes. Suddenly, Mothership <coughs> dead. Yes. And <coughs> and they're also introducing leaderboards for anybody who cares about such things, which personally I don't. Yep. Um, we're gonna get the the web platform is gonna be uh, upgraded and added new stuff, so we're gonna get like a nice little web interface showing you how many kills you've got and and blah 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 and, and how stats. well you've done within your organization, how well your organization is is compared to other organizations and stuff like that. You'll have your own uh, enhanced citizen dossier, whatever that means, with all your stats, kills, deaths. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, ranked matches and also, of course, private matches will be available. Um, mm, yeah. It's going to be extremely standard in that respect. And that is the first version of the dogfighting module, which, as they claim, will be released very shortly. And there will be two versions coming up, following, before yep. the actual full release of the game. The second version of the dogfighting module will contain multi-crew ships such as the Freelancer, the Idris, uh, etc. Constellation, yeah. 
I, d I, don't, I think they said the, the address would actually be a little bit later, but it could potentially arrive in version 2, but it depends on the game assets uh, and that kind of thing, I would assume. The single pilot ships will receive the variants that are already available for purchase, like the 350R, um, the Stealth uh, Hornet, stuff like that. Uh, and AI will be uh, expanded to include um, pilots, co-pilots, yeah. crew members, yeah. um, stuff gunner. like that. So when they bring in the multi-crew ships, they're going to bring the AI as well to support that. So you'll have your gunner, who is a, a, an AI gunner or that kind of thing. <clears throat> if you don't have enough people uh, to fully man your ship, you will, will be able to do it with AI people. Which yeah, exactly. is crucial, probably. Uh, in game communications as well, the voice voice over IP stuff. Is it is it voice over IP or is it just text? No, it's it's gonna be voice over IP and and text. I, I don't know if they're gonna bring that in at the same time, but voice over IP is coming. Excellent. Excellent. And I believe it's in the version two, which I yeah, here it is because that is what Chris Roberts said, I think, when he was being asked questions in the stream. Mm, okay. And version three later on in the game. In the development, I should say. More environments, uh, I think there will be just a few environments from the start, the, the two that we saw in the live stream. Which looks uh, stunning, by the way. Which that, looks that. which look very stunning, yes. The, the attention to detail is just mind-boggling, and I really hope my computer is powerful enough to run everything at a decent frame rate. Yeah, and you, can, so you can, can really tell that there's a big difference actually between the two that they showed, and that the one with the... I think it's Dying Star is what they called it. Um, that is just incredible because that is clearly something that, like the first one was kind of built and then expanded on to, to be the base to, to do the original yeah, testing. Yeah. And then and then this um, Dying Star one, it just looked absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. I mean, they both did, but this that second one was just like mm, choice. Yes, very, very excited. Um, what else is coming in version 3? First person modes for boarding uh, parties. I don't think that was confirmed. That was something that they wanted to include in the version 3, but they hadn't confirmed yet. Well, yes, but since it's so far along the way, I think they will make it happen. So it's yeah. probably just as, just as well as confirmed. Uh, capture the address mode, a new game mode, which from what I understand is just... Um, Board the you address. Have well, you have to attack a squadron of ships that are guarding the Idris. You have to defeat all the defending ships, and then you have to defeat the Idris' defenses and board it and capture that. Yep. So, potentially could be quite interesting. And in preparation for migrating into the huge um, Persistent Universe, because space is big, uh, to put it mildly, they will be transitioning from 32 bit to 64 bit maths which they're calling double precision and if anybody has any idea what exactly that means feel free to leave a comment and give us some education actually i don't know what it means you that's don't? all i wanted to say no mm. um, i don't know what it means entirely but i know that apparently this is the first game that is actually doing this properly yeah. In 64 bit. So in 64 bit, cool. because cool. 30, 32 bit maths just doesn't have the precision required when it comes to such a huge scale as they're um, planning on doing. It, yep. Yes, because it would be nice to actually hit what you're shooting. No, don't want to kill anyone. That's rude. Oh. <laughs> you're, you're such a gentle young man. <laughs> Yeah, I'm from New Zealand. I'm a hobbit. We know, you know, hobbit stuff. Mm, mm. Yeah, I think that's pretty much everything. I think from that's from pretty much from... it. Yes, not a lot, but all very exciting. And we really hope that for the next episode, we will be able to share with you some first-hand opinions and footage from the dogfighting module along with some more exciting beer. Maybe. Maybe, hopefully, hopefully. Oh. Yeah. I'm very giddy about it. 
I am. I mean, I'm, we we we. Um, it, it was quite. It's been quite a bit of time since our uh, the last big sort of media dump, as uh, it might be called. Yep. And there was quite a lot to see in the in the latest offering. Yeah. And I'm hopefully, we'll be able to get it. I'm I'm super excited as well. Like, really, yeah, it's yeah. just. It's looking awesome, and I really hope they can they can polish some of these bugs out before we get it. But I, mm. as I think I said a few episodes ago, the dogfighting module is going to be really broken when we first get it. <laughs> it's going to be really broken. True. Anyone who thinks they're going to be able to jump in, anyone who's taken time off to, to play that, be warned, I would expect many bugs, many bugs. And it will take at least a couple of days, if not a, a week or, or even two weeks, to get everything smoothed out so it's running consistently i'm expecting lots of lots and lots of problems with it because they're building a whole new backend for it as well which is mm. which yeah. is one of the major reasons they had to push it back is for that new backend but they do have the money they do have the manpower and they yep. do have the time so it's just a we, matter of we, time all we have to do is provide the patience yeah not the card game will... patience the uh why am I holding a lens cap? Not the card game Patience, the... Uh, there's a card game called Patience? There's a card game called Patience. Google it, it's the most boring game in the history of the world. I'll take your word for it. Anyway, I think that's been it for this episode. And uh, don't forget to check out the space bar, which is after this. Yep, after. Even though we recorded it before, for some weird reason. Because then we can drink our beers yeah, earlier. Yeah. Exactly. Mm rather than waiting through the episode. Yeah. Anyway, that's been it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like and comment and share and stuff. Everything that people do these days. Yeah, the, the twit books and the face eats. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, see you in the verse. See you in a fortnight. Welcome to the Space Bar, where we talk about Hooch and video games. Today, as befit the episode, we are still talking about Star Citizen and how we are preparing for the dogfighting module. Joe, you've got your HOTUS on a budget, which we will be revisiting next time. But right now, we will be talking about... this. But first... Beer. Beer. Good. Beer good. What are you drinking today, Mr. Ice? Uh, unfortunately, I'm going to have to go back on my word, and I did not get anything interesting. The closest store that has any sort of good selection of beer is about 100 kilometers away from me, so it's really out of my way. Um, I'm back to my old standard fare today. What about you? I am actually drinking my old standard fare as well. It's alcoholic vice beer this time. Erdinger, my my preferred, currently my preferred brand actually, Erdinger. Um, and I know to those Germans who are watching, if there are any, this is not how you're supposed to pour a vice beer. But I really can't be bothered dealing with all the foam and shit that comes with it. So I pour it like I don't want to get any foam. And I'm sorry, but I don't like foam. You're not the only one that's uh, switched to adding a vice beer recently. Who's that? Who is? Our friend that has nothing to do with Star Citizen because he's not a gamer. He even owns a Mac, of all things. Uh, would this be the one with the really beautiful E30 that is being rebuilt? Yes, 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 that is the one. And the one that I am helping rebuild it. But that is beside the point. How is your beer today? Tastes just like the last one I had, actually. Um, kind of good. I, pr I think I prefer Erdinger over the other brands at the moment, at least. Um, whoops. Don't know why. Just do. It's good. Berry. Oh. Spicy. D does, it, does it come in lager form as well? Or is it it's only vice beer? beer? Yes. It's vice beer. 
Yes, but um, Paulana does buy his beer and lager. I've never seen Paulana lager, ever. It's delicious. Okay. You have to supply me with some. I will. But I think you're a bit closer to you because it's from Munich and you're from Germany. And I'm not. I'm not from Germany. I live in Germany. Yeah, you live in Germany, yes, but just closer to <laughs> Munich than I am. <laughs> <laughs> am I? Oh, not, not by much, though. I am. How long is this drive from you to Munich? Uh, five and a half hours. You're closer. It's nine I'm... hours for me. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. Ha, he's closer. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm two countries away. Stop <laughs> living in such a big country, you big countryman. <laughs> ah, that's just Munich's close to the border. Mm. I'm it closer is. to the Netherlands than I am. I'm actually closer to Amsterdam than I am to Berlin. So. Europe. Okay. What else can yeah. you say? Yeah. Awesome. But anyway, back to the topic at hand. I'm joysticking. Joysticking, yes. This is my joystick. It is a Logitech Cordless Freedom 2.4. And that probably means it runs on 2.4 gigahertz frequency or something like that. Or it is speed. a standard sort of flight stick. Um, three axis joystick. 10 buttons, collie hat, dink a little throttle over here. Um, but it's actually quite nice, um, very precise. I do m sort of wish it had more analog control, like a Hodas, but uh, for the money I got it for, it was very nice. And it's it's got a, a few nice touches. Um, there's, these bits are aluminum. Or aluminium, if... Yeah, okay. yes, say yes. it right. Say it, yes. say it right. Say it correctly, man. I've been spending Alum too much time with Americans. Alum I'm sorry. Aluminium. Aluminium. Yes. Oh, that's uh, wonderful, my dear boy. <laughs> mm, and it's got quite quite good range, about, let's say, five meters, before it starts experiencing uh, any sort of... Uh, uh, technical loss. difficulties. Yes, technical difficulties. You're standing five meters away from your computer. You're experiencing technical difficulties. <laughs> uh, I, th I still think I will be playing it with the joystick and keyboard, though, um, so I can use WASD and Control shift for combinations thereof to use um, strafing up, down, left, right, yeah. as, and as we've seen in the stream, that is going to be very important because... Um, the dogfighting module and Star Citizen Squadron 42 will come with a truly Newtonian uh, mode which allows you to control uh, your ship in all six degrees or axes of freedom, which is very nice. Yes, it is very nice. And, well, actually, I won't, I won't say anything about that, about my controller with regards to the six axes of freedom stuff, because that's for the next episode. Yes. Um, so that's it um, for the space bar today. Next time, as you said, we're revisiting your holders on a budget. Yep. And we'll and hopefully we'll be playing the dog funny module as well. Oh yes, yes, that is very much a big wish. They did say that it will, they will be releasing it in, in say a week, and since we're yeah, we should have a, we should at least have a few days, hopefully, of. Yeah, I really doubt that. Practice. I think it's going to be at least a month away. You do? Yeah, I think it's probably... It potentially is going to be um, um, mid-May before we get it. Mm. Well, I hope they will surprise us. Or surprise yeah. you, at least. Well, I mean, judging by... by even though Chris Roberts said it, and, uh, and the thing we just talked about it before that we're about to talk about because of the recording this, but... <laughs> This is confusing for us as well. Confusing. Um, yeah, because of that, I, I just yeah, I don't know. But anyway, we're gonna save that for the second, first part of the second. We'll see you in the verse. Bye. Bye. <laughs>Don't forget to check out the previous episode of Fortnightly Frontier and the video of the Fortnite, which this time shows Arena Commander, formerly known as the Dogfighting Module, not crashing for nearly 20 minutes. See you next time.